my channel today i want to talk about a book that i really enjoyed reading the name of the book is atomic habits by james clear so first let's define what is atomic habits atomic habits are those little things that you do on a daily basis that build up into your success or failure at the end of the day so this book is about creating good habits and breaking the bad ones I will share seven big ideas that I've learned from this book and I've made some notes on my phone. Okay, so the first one is you need to aim at improving by 1% every day. So if, for example, you want to lose weight, instead of focusing on trying to lose 10 kg by the end of the year, focus on trying to go to the gym three times a week for 30 minutes sessions and then once you feel like you're good at that then you can add and do four days and then five days and then when you're comfortable with that you can also increase your time to maybe 45 minutes and then an hour focus on trying to eat clean focus on trying to drink um, eight glasses of water instead of focusing on the big goal that you have okay and then idea number two is you need to focus on your processes or your systems instead of trying to focus on the goal because my aha moment actually here was that the losers and the winners have the same goals they all want to win at the end of the day but what differentiates them is what they do on a daily basis when they are working towards their goal what processes do they have in place that they are doing on a daily basis to try and change um their life or to try and aim for the goal that they want to achieve so instead of focusing on the goal focus on the little things that you can do on a daily basis because if you focus on the goal you might actually be discouraged once you reach your goal and end up going back to your old habits and also this will help you to enjoy your journey instead of um saying that you'll be happy only once you get to your destination okay and then number three you need to do temptation bundling so what this is is you combine a good habit that you have with something another habit that is not so good or another habit that is not um, helping you to build your life and you combine those for an example, I know that I love watching Netflix and watching Disney Plus on my phone. So what I do is I watch these when I'm at the gym. So when I'm doing treadmill, when I'm walking or when I'm doing cycling, then I take my phone and I watch Netflix. So that way I do something that I really enjoy, which is watching Netflix, even though it's not really building me up with something that is going to help me in the long run, which is um, exercising at the gym. Okay. And then number four, you need to do what is called habit stacking. I really love this one. So this one is you take a habit that you are really good at and you take and you uh, pair it with a new habit that you would like to build. For example, if you like, if you would like to build um, a habit of being grateful, of being more grateful, you must make up your mind and decide that I will think of something that I am grateful for. Um, every time after I brush my teeth or you can say something like um, when I come back from work instead of changing to my lingerie that is comfortable I'm going to change into uh, gym clothes and I'll wear my running shoes and that might motivate you to actually get out and walk around your block or go to gym okay and then number five you must create a success driven environment so if it is possible you must have a designation for each and everything that you'd like to do in your house for an example i know that when i am in my sitting room i know that this is the place for me to sit down and relax and watch tv so it's very difficult for me personally to be productive when i'm in this environment so it's important um, for such people to have an office where they know that if i want to be productive and work then i i know that uh, that specific room is for working I know that this specific room is for relaxing and watching TV and I know that my bedroom for example is where I like to relax and read my book okay 
and then number six is you need to plan ahead so if you want to go to gym the following day you need to decide um in advance that this is what i'm going to wear tomorrow and this is what i'm going to do at the gym and this is the time that i plan um to go to the gym at for an example um tomorrow at one o'clock i'll go to my fitness club to do cardio okay so that tells your mind that this is something that we'll do tomorrow and it's specific about the time and the location so that you don't have the decision fatigue the following day and you end up convincing yourself that you know what let me just not go to gym anyway so have uh, a plan ahead that this is what you're going to do at this specific time and in this location okay and then the last point is you need to track your habits so i do this by using an app on my phone which is called the screen time uh, so if you have this app it tells you how much time you spend on social media how much time do you spend on productive things how much time you spend on maybe your camera how much time you spend on whatever so it tells you what apps do you use the most and then you can um use that to your advantage you can see what habits what bad habits do you have um and what can you do about that or what you can do is you can have a journal where you write down the things that you do on a daily basis and then you decide at the end of the day is this habit good for me or is it is this habit bad for me is it growing me or is it destroying me and then you can try to work on changing those so the biggest thing that i've learned from this book is that for the good habits you need to make them visible you need to make them obvious for an example if you are planning to eat more fruits and more vegetables you must display them have a fruit basket in a table where you put your fruits so that when you're hungry you can, hungry you can just grab it and eat instead of uh ending up being tempted by junk food if you want to drink more water you must always have a bottle of water that is near you that you can just grab and drink every time every time when you are thirsty and if for example you you want um to build a habit of going to gym start small start with something small maybe do 15 minutes exercises walk around your block and then when you see that you are getting better then you improve on that do something that is not too difficult and also something that is not too easy because if something is too easy then you will be discouraged you'll be bored and you'll end up quitting and if it's difficult also you'll be demotivated and you might also end up quitting so in conclusion what i've learned from this book is you need to focus on who you want to become instead of focusing on what you want to gain you need to focus on the start instead of focusing on the end you need to be patient with yourself you need to be kind to yourself and you need to know that each and every little step that you do is counting towards your bigger goal so be courageous and go for it okay so i really loved this book i really enjoyed it and i would recommend it to anyone who would like to read a book that is um, motivational and that will help you to improve yourself i hope this has been informative please don't forget to like and subscribe and check out more of my videos in my playlist and until next time thank you so much for your time bye